Hello everyone and welcome to Spotlight Torrance where we're exploring your city. I'm Alexa Sita, thanks for joining us. Well, the holidays are a busy time for all of us, but for some business owners, this is their busiest time of the year. So today on Spotlight Torrance, we're gonna to visit two local businesses and find out how they celebrate the holidays by working hard. But before we get to that, let's get into the Christmas spirit and take a look at a classic production of The Nutcracker. Hi. Well, if you are looking for the old-fashioned Christmas experience, one of the great stores in the South Bay is the independently owned Mulberry Cottage. It's really known for their gifts and for the fantastic smell in here, I think, is part of it yes. as well. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Jamie Chase. She is the owner, and this has fulfilled a lifelong dream of yours to own the store. Yes, many years ago I found this store. Um, gosh, probably at least 11, 12, 13 years ago I came in here and they were having a special day. And um, I sat down and took a picture, and I've kept that picture over my computer for 11 years, hoping someday that I would have a shop like this. What is it about Mulberry Cottage and what you guys, the unique items you have here that wanted you to own the well, store? Well, the, the, the fact is, is when I used to come in here, and many of our customers say the same thing, I would come in, shoot over here on my lunch break, and just kind of wanting to get away from work. and. Even if I didn't have time to really buy anything, just to walk around and smell the smells and see the sights, and, and it just takes you away. It, it, it's we, such a pick-me-up yeah, yes, in here, because yes. you walk in here and your spirits are lifted yes. and everything is, it, I think it feels like it's from a simpler time. It, and it is, and that's what we strive to do. We play old-fashioned music. Um, we, the girls all know the customers, we, we say hi by name. It's clear that you have a real passion for this and that you have a passion for the community that you're in, which yes. is what makes the store so popular. You guys have a lot of unique items, as we said, that some of them I've never seen before. They're, mm -hmm. they're perfect items for gifts. Right. So let's talk about, let's start um, with sort of your Christmas display up front. Right. What are some of the items that we have here? Because these, these are big sellers, yeah, right? Yeah, this is a new line that we found at the last year's show. This is by Chris Thomas, and, and these are very unique little items. They're very old-fashioned. This little guy I love this. winds up and he moves. Is that and, great? And these little guys, this little rocket ship, um, one of our one of our employees, my director of, of, uh, of uh, dis display, her husband's actually a rocket scientist, so she was crazy. She oh, got, perfect! She got her husband one of these for uh, Christmas, and um, the little deers just are are phenomenal. And then this little Santa that moves and um, little train in his little oh, workshop. Oh, look at that! Isn't that sweet? And these are all yeah. relatively, they're moderately priced. They're, they're really not, yes. I mean, to look at this or this, this is $25, yes. and I and thought it would be more expensive no, than that. And that, yes, and that's quality. It's, it's really a, a quality item, and it's unique. You're not, you're not going to find this at other stores. Right. Okay, I want to go into the food room, oh, because yeah. I know that that's really popular. That's very popular. I love popular. food, so let's, popular. let's walk over to okay. the food room. So now we're in Mrs. Claus's kitchen, which I think is going to turn out to be my favorite room in the store. And this is really where people congregate when you're doing free food samples and open houses. Is that yes, right? Yes, this is the what you would call the heart of the home, like right. any home. It's our kitchen, and during our open house, everybody congregates in the kitchen, and uh, it gets quite crowded, especially when we are doing the food sampling of the soups and so forth. And we always have a nice warm drink to a wassail or a cider going on. And um, we this year it was so crazy that we had to have our little reindeer helpers um, guide the, the the customers to a certain flow of the top. So everyone <laughs> so keep the traffic moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it was it was jammed. It was pretty packed in here the year before last. So we we got it. We got smart and had some traffic control this year. It's very good idea. Yeah. But that's a good sign. Yes. You've got people lining up. Yes, yes. So I I love that you guys have soups like this yes. that you say are, are a popular Very item. Very popular, can't keep them in. We sample it, it sells. And so these are just items that you would just add, you know, You add some broth your, your, or? Your, your broth, it has all the makings that you would, all the spices and all the all the foods, all the vegetables and everything. You just add your chicken broth or, or your or a cream or something very simple. And it, I, I made a tomato basil last night for my husband who's sick with a sore throat. And uh, it took me, Tops 20 minutes. Right. And it was. And it great. has that homemade taste to homemade it. Homemade taste. There's yeah, that's not, a great gift for, for this time of year. Very much so. You can put a little basket together with soup and maybe some cider. What a great gift, right? And if you're not a yes. cook, no. That's the perfect it, gift, it's right? It's perfect. It, it's very perfect. And and I tell you, well, on rainy days, people come in here in droves. And this 
we we sell out our corn chowder, which we are out of right now, is one of our most popular, and we're hoping that shipment is doing any time. You guys are constantly restocking this. Cannot suits. keep it in. Can just cannot keep it in fast enough. It's well, I have my public. eye on something down there. You have a yes. whole section of yes. hot chocolate. So yes. let's go check cocoa. those out. Hot Wonderful. Cocoa. Okay. Well, you have a hot cocoa section, but it's yes. a little bit fancier than that. So tell us about some of the brands you have here. They're really hard to find yeah, labels. The, um, these are very high quality uh, hot cocos, very, very popular. And very, if you want a good cup of cocoa, this is this is the line that you wanna you wanna get your cocoa from. This is uh, Cafe Di Amore, um, and um, Cafe Di Amore is well known at places, your theme parks and, and, and right. whatnot, think places like that. And um, these uh, hot cocos, we, this um, one of the ladies uh, that bought one the other day came back. She bought 13 of these. Oh wow! Because so it must she be said, good. Yes, she says it's like a French cup of cocoa. Oh. It's like drinking hot pudding. <gasps> it's oh, yummy. That good. Yeah, and um, these are we we were we were sampling the holiday spice that was phenomenal. That's a really nice um, and they're nice gifts too. Well, you also have some private label items that I want to take a look at. So let's okay. check those out. Sure. I love the idea of this candle because you can sort of cheat if you don't cook. Absolutely. This is a snickerdoodle candle. So if you light this, it smells like you're making snickerdoodles. It smells just like snickerdoodles. It, the it smell so is good. phenomenal. These are the most these are our most popular candle throughout the whole shop. Really? So the warm yes. glow candles come in all different scents. Scents, you name it, it comes in it. it they are handmade and uh, made in America, which is great. And um, these candles, um, people come in and are sometimes in tears if we don't have them. Oh, no. Yes, I mean, or they'll call and when are you getting them in? And when we have them, they buy three or four at a time. They, they all year round, not just in, during the holidays. They are phenomenal. Well, this will will make you a little bit hungry, but yes. I love the idea that you can like this. Yes. It smells like Snickerdoodles, and then you can just bring out some bring box so, yes. Snickerdoodles, and it yes. makes it seem like you actually bake them. We'll put a lot of platter on the holidays. I love that. Yeah, put These a lot of great. platter. <laughs> and great. I love that you guys have your own now private label food items. Yes. So talk to us a little bit about some of the popular food this, items that you have. This is our jams, jellies, and some of our, our food items, uh, pickled beets and and, um, and baby dills and pickled asparagus. This is a House of Webster and they put it under the Mulberry Cottage label. And these jams, uh, the most popular is the uh, sugar-free, uh, especially with our elderly uh, customers. They love the sugar-free. The most popular is, which we're out of right now, what, uh, where shipment's coming in soon, is apple butter and uh, pumpkin butter during the oh, holidays. Oh, yum. Okay. Very yummy. Okay. But in Very the meantime, yummy. I think I'll probably take the sweet potato yes. butter. Okay. okay. So we're going to head next into Santa's Mr. gift Mrs. shop. No, oh, Mr. Okay. and Mrs. Claus's, Claus's parlor, parlor. Okay. and Santa's and gift, gift shop. shop. Right. So we're going to see that for some beautiful, unique holiday gifts and decorations. And speaking of decorations, let's go out to the Torrance Memorial Annual Festival of Lights. Happy holidays, everybody. Wow, these are so trippy. I see <laughs> snowmen everywhere. So these are holiday specs. They're $1.99 yep. yep. and they're like 3D glasses. You put them up to lights and they all have different images on them and these yep. are snowmen. That is so cool. I've Those never seen these before. Those I love these. Great little stocking stuffers. Yeah. So we're talking about working the holidays, businesses yes. that really thrive during the holiday season. You were just saying that yes. you really need, you're always looking for good display people yes. and price people. So what yes. are some of the things that somebody would need to do if they were going to come here to look for a job? Well, they first off, they have to have a lot of energy. This is, an, this is it's kind of like Disneyland um, here. It's a fun place to work, but it's a lot of work. It is a job and it is work and it's hard work. And these girls here work very hard. Uh, you have to have great personality, want to help the customers, great patience. You need to help uh, a lot of people during the holidays. Plus, um, they would do some pricing, register work, and one of the things I'm, uh, pl or responsibilities I'm always looking for are great display people. They're long hours. Um, sometimes we don't walk out of here until 2 or 3 in the morning, and um, there's nothing better than, than finding the perfect gift for that person on a holiday. Well, a perfect gift would be <laughs> for somebody that's interested in teddy bears yes. are these Boyd's bears, which Boyd's I think bear. are just so adorable. They so are. tell us a little bit about these. These are real collector's these items, These are right? collector's items. People come in just specifically for Boyd's bears, and, and who doesn't want a teddy bear at Christmas time, right? 
They're you so know, they're, cute. They're sweet. You know, we they're have really all different cute. kinds. You have your Santa bear, you have your little angel bear, and this one is a little tree topper as that, well. I love that. Which the is really nice and so sweet. Cute. And yes. they're on stands, but they come yes. off. Yes. Oh, yeah. The stands are, a lot of your collectors want the stands. They, they, they have a little stand that keeps them upright, but they are very cuddly, and they do sit, and they'll be really nice very on sweet. any little girl's bed or boy's bed. So this is a great item. There, some of them yes. are more expensive than others. Yes. So you get your, you know, above a hundred dollars here, right. but um, you've got ones that are in the thirty dollar yes. range. And then little, little yeah, little small little ornament ones too that are really inexpensive. So That's great. and a little for a little tree, a little tree topper, Adorable. which is really sweet. Isn't that nice? So some real collectors' yes. items oh, are yes. these Santa fairies. Yes. So tell us a little bit about these. And this is these are real oh, collectors' these items. These are, are expensive. Yes, very. Um, these are Mark Roberts fairies, and um, they're very well known, and they're handcrafted. And uh, Mark Roberts takes extreme pride in all of his fairies. They're very unique. Uh, this guy here, Mr. Santa, um, he is um, actually this this big guy costs around uh, three hundred and uh, uh, twenty five twenty six dollars, and um, this Santa is very well. Well, you can uh, see well that made. they're they're not mass produced. No, they, they are not they mass look produced. Very well made. Yes, it's all quality material. Yes, so and you they are all... getting what you pay for these items. Yes, and you're getting a certificate of authenticity as well. And they do come in a gift box, uh, so you can store them away if I you want to. Yeah, this is our little garden fairy. They all have a little theme. They're so whimsical. I yeah. love them. They're adorable. They're posable as well, and you can you can hang them on a tree or. Oh, or just sit them on a little you. little table or whatever, or sit them in your tree. A lot of people will do a whole tree with Mark Roberts fairies. They're really oh, I unique. I love that. Yes. That's great. And you've got so many um, Christmas ornaments all over. Oh, look, you've got yes. this one here too. Yes, we hang them everywhere. All throughout the shop, you'll find a fairy. Each That's one very, very, very unique, and very well, well made, handcrafted. Beautiful. These are beautiful items. People come in here just specifically, sometimes just. Ex for the Mark Roberts fairies. I love it. Yes. So, of course, as I usually do on shoots like this, I now have my eye on a couple of things. Yes. So I'm going to take some things from Mrs. Claus's kitchen, and I think I want to take one of these platters. That's I'll decide whether pretty. I'm going to give them to anybody. Okay. I usually end up shopping for myself at Christmas, Great. which is not a good thing. But I'm going to take, I think, one of these platters and some of the private label yes. items. Yes, the jams, the whips, and yes, the whips jams. Let's have them gift wrap. Okay, yes, our girls will do that for you. Okay, great. Well, another great thing about Mulberry Cottage is you guys gift wrap, and not many places offer gift wrapping. No, they do not. It's really great, and for a nominal fee, you guys charge you know, a very small amount, but you get a professionally wrapped gift, and gifts of all sizes, big or small, you guys will wrap. So I'm going to take this beautiful Christmas tray, and I should mention, this is Leslie Hoop. She is the store manager here. And you've worked here for three years, but did you know how to gift wrap before you started here? No, I here? didn't. You didn't? OK. Yeah. So, and you said that there's a mulberry cottage way to gift yes, wrap? There is. OK. So we've got this beautiful platter. We've got this lovely festive tissue. Mm -hmm. Let me just put a little sticker here. OK. Let me put some sticker. Put the lid on. The ribbon, okay. This is raffia. This is raffia ribbon, okay. Tied up. Sometimes the customer will put their finger there. <laughs> so they customer? feel like they're doing something. Should I put my yes. finger there? Was that a hint? Yeah. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> And even if you're going to purchase a small gift, yeah, we just put them in a small bag and we fold over the top. Feed this through and tie it in the front. Lovely. Our little bow. Isn't that cute? That's little, really little sweet. Little items like earrings or candy. It's really or... sweet. Look at how lovely that is. That's just great. That's just great. Well, Mulberry Cottage is the place to come for gifts. Thank you so much, Leslie. And the place to go for soul food is Flossie's. Let's go there for some home cooking.
With gifts, decorations, and one-of-a-kind collector's items, the Mulberry Cottage makes everyone's Christmas dreams come true. Visit them at their store on Palace Verdes Boulevard and you'll understand why they're considered the best gift shop in the South Bay. You can also find them online at torrensgiftshop.com.